Okay, so today we're going to talk about rounding. Rounding is when you find a number that's close to your number, but it's not exactly your same number. So we're going to take the number 53. And if I asked you to round it to the nearest 10, okay, and, and you can think like if I was counting by tens, that would be like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So those are count, that's tens. So if I wanted to find 53, and one it around it, I would use an open number line. This is what an open number line looks like. Okay, so I would think about the numbers that are around 53, and so I know that it's gonna fall between 50 and 60. Then I can put my number that falls in the middle. That would be 55. Okay, I would mark where 53 falls on the open number line, and that would be before the 55. So 53 is closer to the 50 than the 60. And that is how you use an open number line. Okay, let's try another one. I like open number lines because they're really easy to draw. You just need a line. And you can add some arrows. Okay. Let's do another one. Let's round 78 to the nearest 10. Okay. So I'm going to think about the tens that would be near 78. So I would think 70, that's one because I heard it in 78. And then what would go after 70 if I was counting by tens? Oh yeah, 80. Okay, then what number falls in the middle of 70 and 80? Perfect, 75. Okay, now if I want around 78 to the nearest 10, I need to put it on this open number line so I can see which number it falls closest to. So 78 is going to be almost 80. So therefore, 78 rounds to 80. Okay, you can use the same concept with hundreds. So let's try it. Okay, so This time, I want around 141, and I want to round it to the nearest 100. Well, I hear 141, I hear 100. So that's the number I'm gonna put on my left. Then if I was counting by hundreds, what would the next 100 be? That goes here, 200, okay? What number comes in between 100 and 200? That's what I put here. Okay, 150. Now, if I want to put 141 on this number line, I need to figure out where it fits. So I think 141 comes before 150, so it's probably around here. So that means 141 rounds to 100. Okay. Okay, I have Mrs. Cushman here to practice rounding with me. So Mrs. Cushman, we're gonna start with rounding 63 to the nearest 10. Okay, so I would draw my number line. And if you said to the nearest 10, I'm thinking, okay, 60 comes before it, 70. Okay, and those would be counting by tens. Very good, what comes in the middle? 65. All right, now if you plug 63 in, you should see where it fits. Right there. Okay. So it's like, aha, it is closest to or it rounds to 60. Very good. Okay. okay. Can I erase my number line? Sure. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to give her a hard one. Let's oh, see no. what she does on this okay. one. Okay. Okay. So, so she has the number 75 and she's trying to round it to the nearest 10. So I think of my 10s 70. Mm hmm. 80. Okay, and then what comes and in the middle? in between is 75. Oh no, 75, that is exactly what I have. So Mrs. Wolf, if I have 75 and it's I'm right smack in the middle, which way do I go? Okay, so anytime you're in the middle, it always goes towards the bigger number. So 75 would round up to 80. Okay, so if I'm in the middle, I always go up. Mm -hmm. All right, so 75, Rounds, rounds to 80. 80. Good job. Okay.
All right, so we have a couple more. Do you want to try to round 385 to the nearest hundred? Yes, I'm going to just erase all this and I'll sure. work on this side. Yeah. Okay, 385 to the nearest hundred. Okay. Okay, so you got to think count by one hundreds. And I always, I said 385, I gave you one of the hundreds. Yes, so I'm going to say 200. Oh, oh no, I'm not. I'm going to say 300. <laughs> That's what Mrs. Wolf just told me and 400. Okay. Halfway between 350. All right, now I find 385. I think it's about right there. And I would say, is 385 closest to 300 or 400? 400. Okay, we'll do one more. 225. She gave me one, two hundred, three hundred. Halfway between is two fifty, two hundred fifty. Where would I find two hundred twenty-five? Right in here. And so then I'd say is two hundred twenty-five closest to two hundred or three hundred? And we'd say it's closest to two hundred. Perfect, good job. Okay, so for practice today, you're gonna open up your volume one math workbook, and I want you to turn to page six. I want you to try doing all the problems on this page, one through five. Now, one, two, and three, you have to label the open number lines, but then four and five, they give you some extra problems in here. You can draw an open number line on the side of your paper. You could use a scratch paper, but try all of the problems on this page. 